Hello everyone and welcome back to Atlas. In today's video we will be discussing Black Clover episode 159 as well as discussing what is upcoming in episode 160 and potentially a little bit of info for the next following episodes as well. So if you guys don't want any spoilers as far as what's going on, if you haven't seen episode 159 yet, then do not watch this video. Otherwise, if you guys have watched episode 159 and you're curious about what else is going on, you're not too worried about that or you just want to discuss it maybe some of you guys are wanting to leave comments down below and give your theories for further on down the, st the road but anything that we're not discussing here try not to reveal obviously with the manga it is even further down the road than where we're discussing right now but with that being said guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe hit that thumbs up like button let's try to get to 100 likes on this video and also click the bell icon so you can stay up to date with all the latest anime and manga news and uh yeah we'll check out some fan stuff too some point here on this channel first up black clover reveals yuno's surprising spade kingdom connection Black Clover revealed Yuno's surprise connection to the Spade Kingdom in the newest episode. The anime has finally started adapting the much-anticipated Spade Kingdom arc of Yuki Tabata's original manga series, and that means there will be many significant reveals and character introductions in the coming episodes. Yuno might not have been a part of the Clover Kingdom group that trained in the Heart Kingdom during the six-month time skip, but he's just as pivotal of a character in this coming arc as Asta and the others are. In fact, he might just be the most important. The first episode of the Spade Kingdom arc ended with a mysterious cliffhanger that seemed to tie a mysterious Spade Kingdom refugee to Yuno in a significant way. And episode 159 of the anime confirmed this was to be the case as it was revealed that Yuno has deep ties to the Spade Kingdom. As it turns out, he's their long-lost prince that they have been searching for. Making his way to Hage Village after being told there was a Spade Kingdom refugee looking for him, the refugee they starts to widen his eyes and mentions that Yuno is the spitting image of Lord Ciel, together with the necklace around his neck that he has gotten back in the six months following the reincarnation arc. This person reveals he is not their enemy and gives some details about the Spade Kingdom's past. He mentions how it is used to be a how it used to be a peaceful kingdom under the rule of the House of Grinberial, but soon the Dark Triad arrived and exiled that family and took over. It's here that he says Yuno belongs to the House of Grinberial, and thus the Prince of the Spade Kingdom. The episode ends shortly after the cliffhanger, so unfortunately, further details about this reveal will be shown within the next release. If Yuno is indeed the long-lost prince of the Spade Kingdom, then there are several questions as to how he ended up in the Clover Kingdom's Hage Village in the first place, not to mention what Yuno will do with this information as well. What do you think? All right, now, the next bit. This is in regards to episode 160, preview synopsis and spoilers. So again, just keep in mind, guys, some key points out of this the wizards of spade kingdom attack the golden dawn headquarters in the absence of their vice captain the golden dawn members put up a fight black clover episode 160 is scheduled to air on january 19th the spade kingdom is going full-on assault mode as its wizards target one of the strongest forces of the clover kingdom in black clover episode 160 the episode is reportedly titled the messenger of the spade kingdom Twitter user BC Spoiler, which can actually be seen right down below here, shared the synopsis for episode 160, hinting at two major plot lines. As the Spade Kingdom prepares to attack the Clover Kingdom, the secret of Yuno's birth is revealed. The Golden Dawn comes under attack when a contingent of wizards from the Spade Kingdom strikes their headquarters. With the vice captain of Golden Dawn, Yuno, away, the remaining members decide to defend the headquarters. The spoilers suggest the Golden Dawn members are severely outnumbered and they desperately need backup. We're going, to, we're going to go ahead and pull this up for you guys off of Twitter so I can read this in full for all of you. 160, The Messenger of the Spade Kingdom. Asta and Yuno were abandoned as babies in front of a church in the village of Hage at the border of the Clover Kingdom. The secret of Yuno's birth is revealed. 
Meanwhile, the HQ of the Golden Dawn is under attack by the wizards of Spade Kingdom who suddenly appeared in the absence of their vice captain, Yuno. The members of the group fight back, but the strength of the enemy is overwhelming as they try to capture their leader and bring him back to their own country. The Golden Dawn, which is supposed to be the strongest in the Clover Kingdom, is being hunted down. For the following episode, 161, the Golden Dawn is in danger and Yuno rushes to help. However, their headquarters had been destroyed and many of their members were lying in a state of death. Yuno is furious at the situation. Meanwhile, Claus and the other members of the group that are still able to fight continue their battle with the enemy, but they are helpless against enemies with such high magic power. Additionally, Xenon Zagratis, a wizard from Spade Kingdom and part of the Dark Triad who possesses the power of a high-level demon, appears in front of Yuno and the others. Episode 162, The Great War Breaks Out. While spending time in the Heart Kingdom, Asta decides to return to the hideout of the Black Bull. Suddenly, one of the three Dark Triads, Dante Zagratis, appears and attacks. Asta and his friends fight back, but they struggle against Dante, who is also a devil host, but has more power than Asta. Additionally, Dark Triad's Vanica Zagratis, who possesses the demon Medjicula, invades the Heart Kingdom. The current arc of Black Clover anime introduces the Dark Triad, Dante Zagratis, Vanica, and Xenon. Toward the end of Black Clover episode 158, the Dark Triad members meet to discuss the next phase of their plan. Xenon informs Dante about the fallen Candelo Fortress near the border, but Dante calls it a small incident. Meanwhile, Vanica announces she is ready for a bigger mission. Dante compliments her and declares that they are ready to execute their next move against the Heart and Clover Kingdoms. With the Spade Kingdom attacking the strongest force of the Clover Kingdom, the message is loud and clear. So there you guys go. There are some previews for the next episodes. I am actually currently reading up on the manga myself and trying to get all the way up to date. So um, I have actually watched a lot of the episodes for Black Clover. And as far as for this latest news information, I'm still uh, pretty up to date. Or, I'm sorry, trying to get up to date with what's going on with Black Clover. It's an absolutely amazing story. And uh, in addition to Black Clover, just so you guys know, I've been doing My Hero Academia. I am actually all the way caught up on the manga and what's going on there and discussing what uh, potentially could be happening in the future episodes. In that story, we also have been doing Dragon Ball Super on this channel. And the arc that took place with Moro went through all of that. And then also with Attack on Titan. But as you guys know, Attack on Titan is nearing its end. And as this channel has just recently actually shifted over into doing anime and manga type topics, I wanted to go ahead and diversify into some additional um, arcs of different stories that I like to do, right? Uh, or sorry, that I'm interested in. So Black Clover is one. I need to get caught up on that. I'm working on trying to get caught up on Dr. Stone, on Demon Slayer, and One Punch Man and One Piece. So I've got a lot of reading material, but at the same time, I do not want to go silent and just be gone for making content and stuff. So giving you guys some reviews on the latest episode of what happened with Black Clover, I look, I'm going to be looking into doing some readings and analysis of some fan fiction. I know that some people do some story arc designs of Dragon Ball characters in their own universe and what happens if they become Super Saiyan 5 and things like that. We could do a lot of different theory videos as well. So I'm starting to get back into the rhythm with Black Clover. Let me know what character from Black Clover is your guys' favorite. Uh, I really like Asta. Just the whole idea of being viewed as an underdog and working his way up and he's always got what seems to be like a great uh, spirit um, um, he's always positive and always giving it his best and I really like these kind of characters in him seeing something similar like with Naruto where he was the underdog and very weak in the beginning and he pushed himself as hard as he could and he rose to be the strongest so I really am excited to go further into this story I don't know how far you guys are into it I think it's cool too that they're using references from like a deck of cards how you got the spade kingdom the heart kingdom diamond kingdom uh, and then the, well, what's the other one? Clover, Clover Kingdom. Can't forget the Clover Kingdom. 
Anyways, you guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate all of you being here. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this last episode of Black Clover, what you think is going to be happening down the road with these characters. And uh, if you have any requests for any other episodes or series that you guys would like to see, I think I'm about to sneak. <coughs> oh, yeah, there it is. I felt that one coming. And yeah, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. Let's try to get to 100 likes and also click the bell icon so you can stay up to date with the latest in anime news and manga reviews. And I will see you guys in the next episode.